Ensure all supplies are laid out next to the vacuum stand. Spray the distal end pad injection valve with mold release. Once the timer alarms, remove the socket from the heating unit by the socket base. Thread the distal end pad injection valve into the distal base using the valve key and then gently pre-stretch the socket. Identify the posterior seam on the outside of the socket. Ensure correct socket rotational alignment using the posterior seam and the medial and lateral distal base cutouts. Use the base plate to push down from the distal end to prevent distal base distortion. Adjust base alignment if needed. Ensure distal contact between the limb model and the distal end pad injection valve. Place a piece of tape over the hole in the injection valve. Then place the valve key over the tape to create a seal and apply vacuum. If using vacuum suspension, using a 5 32nd inch drill bit, drill a hole through the base vacuum port. Remove the bit from the drill and place the smooth end of the drill bit into the hole you just drilled to seal it. This will create a vacuum channel through the distal end pad. If using suction, skip this step. With your silicone spencer gun loaded and a mixer tip installed, place the mixer tip into the hole in the distal end pad injection valve. Inject silicone evenly into the socket until it overflows onto the valve. Let the silicone set for approximately 15 minutes and then remove the distal end pad injection valve and drill bit if using vacuum. Place a 5 16 inch hole punch into the center of the distal base threaded hole. Punch a hole through the silicone until it reaches the limb model. Draw your socket trim lines and trim the socket. Extremity TT requires an anterior trim line of 2.5 centimeters proximal to MPT to maximize socket strength and maintain warranty. Remove the socket and smooth and buff the proximal brim of the socket. Ensure the outer surface of the brim is smooth to preserve suspension sleeve life. Using the rotary cutting stylus, trim the nylon along the edge of the silicone distal end pad and remove the nylon to create a smooth transition from the silicone to the inside of the socket. The distal end pad is permanently adhered to the inside of the socket.